Hi guys, so in a story I covered recently, the Tories want to move asylum seekers out of hotels and onto barges. There is currently about 150,000 people waiting for their asylum claim to be processed. However, not all of those are in hotels. Of the thousands that currently are in that type of accommodation, 500 of them are to be relocated to a floating ex-prison. Nick Ferrari, the right-wing radio host, was pretty content with that and even managed to get a caller who allegedly spent time on the exact barge in question. Allegedly. Yes, I did. What's your gut feel towards it? Morning. I'm going to be honest with you. I was on that uh, ship about 20 years ago and I had no problems being on it. What, were you work? Were you a worker who was housed on it? Where, where were you? It then? was, originally, I was told that it was used in the oil industry as a living accommodation, and then they converted it into a prison ship. Ah, so and you I were on it. I sentenced on there. Oh, And right, okay. I'll tell you what, it's, it is like a floating hotel. You had fully footy carpet, ensuite bathroom and toilet, in my case, a shower. Right. You had TV, radio, gymnasium, medical care, had a swim pool that was out of action when I was out down there for about six to eight months. Right. And I don't, know what, I don't know what the problem is. I had no problems being on Did that Did you ship. get a bit claustrophobic? I appreciate you're in jail and it's going to be claustrophobic, but the very fact you're on quite tight conditions in a boat, did that... It contrib- was a bit tight, but during the daytime you had association. So your, your cabin doors were open to associate with other prisoners on that particular level, on that, on that prison. No problem for you then, lastly, you would say. Having no lived- problem at all. No problem at all, says Robert. Grateful for your input more. <laughs> okay, we can, I don't know, should we mark this down as probably didn't happen? Um, anyway, even if it did happen, there's a bit of a problem with this because the Conservatives are saying that we need to put people on this ship because hotels are attract. It's not true, but it, it's attracting people. We need to create a disincentive for people to come to Britain. So they're saying that, well, you know, hotels, five-star hotels, I mean, they're not five-star, but five-star hotels are attracting people because, you know, people who are fleeing war and persecution are saying, well, well let's go to Britain because they'll put us up in a hotel. Which is not true, obviously, but for the narrative, it, it sounds really good. Uh, <laughs> but So if this floating ex-prison is you know, wonderful. You have fully fitted carpet, ensuite bathroom, a shower of your own, a swimming pool. Um, well, how is that a disincentive? But also the fact that, you know, this guy presented as, well, you know, I was in prison and it was wonderful. <laughs> These people are not supposed to be in prison. They're asylum seekers. They have not committed any crime. So why would you put them in something that's like a prison? <sighs> Once again, I, I don't believe that the caller is real, but even if he is, the argument that he's making is, yeah, I was in this place when I was a prisoner. It was pretty good. These asylum seekers have nothing to complain about. But the whole point that Rishi Sunak and Suella Braveman are making with this is that it's a deterrent. It's not supposed to be comfortable. So which is it? Is it comfortable? Is it uh, something nice to live in or is it not? It's going to be horrible. There are people who have requirements, mental health issues. Are they going to get what they need on this floating ex-prison? I don't think they will. Are they able to leave? Of course they can't. See, the problem here stems from a lack of resources to process claims. There's no justification for putting people in hotels. There's no justification for putting people on floating ex-prisons. If you invest the resources necessary to deal with the asylum claims. There's also the problem that, you know, refugees can't work which puts them in a sort of limbo where they have to rely on the state. They can't go out and buy a house or rent accommodation themselves because they don't have the ability to do so. They can't contribute to, to society either. And they're stuck in this process for years in some cases. This is going to be a problem that 
is going to go on for months and years because the backlog currently is about 150,000. That's not going to be cleared in a year. It's not going to be cleared in five years. So the next government who take over from the Tories, probably the Labour Party, they're going to inherit this disaster as well. And I hope that they're going to have something more humane than a floating ex-prison. Let me know in the comment section, guys, what you think. As always, your comments are greatly appreciated. Thanks a lot.